Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Coming back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler video series of videos I've been doing for the while now. We're over there to have food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff, folks. I'm gonna do it with the power of funk and love. I can't sing very well, but what I can do I can go over there and try out food stuff and I can talk about it while I'm doing so. I got a Pier Can Thunderbolt poster over there. Crappy old ladder off the side. There's some marble figures up there. I'm also wearing a cool shirt. What kind of cool shirt am I wearing, folks? Boom! Rocking the Puppet Master shirt. Love some Puppet Master. Big fan of horror films. This is one I grew up on. If you're interested, I think they came out in like the 80s or so. Maybe early 90s. They're good up to like the first six. Seventh one is a little bit kind of here or there. At a certain point, you got to drop off, though. They, they got real bad <laughs> once once the money ran out. <laughs> but the first ones are really cool. And uh, you can get, uh, they're from a company called Full Moon uh, Pictures. You can go to their website. You can get, like, a full, like, Blu-ray box set for not that much. Anyway, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, happen to be out, uh the old Walmart doing some shopping and I went over there found some stuff to review one of said things boom we've got Rolos colliders layered they're, they're that's why there's a spoon uh, for all intents and purposes it looks to be it's a Rolo snack pack <laughs> oh I, this is the thing that I didn't know I needed in my life um, contains milk and soy Sure, why not? Yeah, I found these uh, in like the like the dairy section with like the, the yogurts and the butter and such, and I, I had to. They also had, I think, maybe Twix or Kit Kat, but I, I, I wanted to go with this one, folks, because I have a confession for y'all. I fucking love Rolos. <laughs> Rolos are one of those like treats that like I have such fond memories of as a kid. And like they're such a simple, wonderful little thing. And there there there's no pretension to them. They're just they're simple and delicious. So when I saw this, I thought, I need to I need to be part of that. So I, I went over there and I bought it. <laughs> I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully it's delicious. We'll see, folks. We'll see. I'm gonna open it up. I'm a little surprised. Like the way that it's set up is weird. I figured there were four in there. But there's just two long ones. Whatever. Of course, first thing we got to do, plus it'll give me an opportunity to try the chocolate. Like chocolate off the thing. Try not to get the hair in there. That. It's definitely chocolate pudding. Not that I was expecting much different, but point on point. Only thing about it, it seems a little bit denser. It's, uh... Yeah. Maybe that's just because it was stuck to the top. Because the one in there seems gooey enough, so... Alright, folks. Let's give this a shot. Proper shot. Chocolate was good, like I said. Tastes like chocolate pudding. Let's get the layers. Layers. <laughs> That's disappointing. It tastes good. I mean, don't get me wrong, it does. But the problem is that I want it to taste like a Rolo. I don't know that it does. For one thing, chocolate tastes way too much like chocolate pudding. Chocolate pudding, although it's chocolate, Rolo has chocolate on it, obviously. Chocolate pudding is very specific chocolate, you know, uh, flavor to it. Let's try to get, I'm just... Yeah. It's, it, the, the bottom layer is kind of like a caramel pudding. Um... Almost bordering on, and let me emphasize, almost, almost bordering on like a, a light butterscotch kind of flavor. 
but it's it's definitely caramel but mm. no i mean maybe the tiniest bit like it tastes good it's it's perfectly fine the problem is is that <laughs> you can already get things like this they have like at least they used to. I don't check out snack packs all that often these days. They have, like, chocolate and caramel snack packs. Um, is there something of a Rolo aspect to it? Maybe, like, maybe a little bit of the aftertaste is somewhat reminiscent of kind of a Rolo-esque taste. But it really doesn't do a good job of capturing the essence of the Rolo. It just, it doesn't translate well into pudding format. It is still good. The chocolate tastes good. It tastes like chocolate pudding. The caramel, you know, kind of pudding or whatever it is, tastes good. It's sweet. Um, it's not the most caramely tasting thing I've ever had, but but it does taste good. Yeah, I mean, strictly as a snack pack, it's a perfectly fine snack pack. I do enjoy it for what it is. Uh, I will certainly enjoy eating the rest of it, but I will, while enjoying it, I will also be doing so well disappointed because I went into this expecting delicious Rolo flavor in pudding format, and really what I got was just kind of a, basically a, Standard snack pack by any other name, you know, weird kind of bathtub looking container. So it's not bad. In fact, it's good, but it's also not Rolo. So uh, to that end, would I recommend it? Just get a snack pack. I, I don't know price wise, like where they fall, you know, but like you can just get a snack pack. Uh, it'll come in a, you know, non weird container. You'll probably get f at least three if not six of them or you know depending on how that goes and you'll probably be getting a very similar experience so sadly it's just not as good as it should be uh really now i just want to go out and get some actual rollos uh so yeah eh, can't can't exactly recommend it as much as i wanted to anyway folks it's gonna do it for that review uh five things before i get out of here have yourself a great rest of the day spectacular rest of the week monumental rest of your months dependent rest of your year you can go over there and have yourselves a true rollo rest of your life because rollos well you know not they're not as flashy as some of the other candies okay they're they're stalwart they're always going to be there okay you know if, if you could go over there and put stocks and bonds into rollos your securities are set because they're going to be here well into the future. Rollos for the win. Final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time, folks. Here's what you do. You try not to be an asshole. Okay? It's, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to do. In fact, a lot of times it's one of the hardest things to do in the world. It's real easy to be an asshole. It's kind of a default setting for a lot of people. But you don't want to be that person. You don't want to go over there, you know make everybody's life shittier. Or maybe you do, in which case, fuck you. But I'm going to assume that you're not that person, in which case, let's all mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, okay? Try to dial it back just a little bit. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to try some Rolo what-the-hell-ever snack pack thing. And you're going to be like me. You're going to be like, that just isn't Rolo. And you're going to go over there and you're going to vote time and money and resources into making a proper Rolo snack pack and you're going to go over there you're going to get it just right you go over there and send me a batch of it so that I can try it out on the old show but you didn't go over there and test for all the you know long-term side effects and I become sort of some sort of a wombat creature in which case I'd still probably do the show I'd just be a wombat creature or conversely you could do something else like uh hell I don't know folks uh Shouldn't be the thing, but I mean, you know what? Go over there and put up a basketball hoop on your garage or something like that. Get out there and play some b-ball. Bye.